Hello everyone, how are you guys? Hope you people are doing great uh, and we are in continuation of our statistic for all series. Today it's lecture number seven and our topic is measure of central tendency. Uh, in measure of central tendency, uh, we have uh, we will have uh, three more lectures on it. Uh, first one is on arithmetic main, then second one will be on median and the third one will be on mode. So Koko Manzur is here, teacher, trainer, and life coach. You can see my number. You can see a uh, YouTube link and Facebook page. Uh, so you can contact me by using any of these means, right? Okay. So hope you guys are ready. Uh, let's begin. Uh, what is a measure of central tendency? The name clarifies. It is something that we measure. So what we measure? A central point of something, right? So when we have the data, so we want to know that what is the tendency of that data means where it it moves towards right so or in other words what is the central location of our data so how we define it it's a summary of the measure that attempts to describe a whole set of data with a single value that represent the middle or the center of distribution so you see when we collect the data so that data uh, is normally in a jumbled form so uh, we don't know that uh, what is the central point so there are various mechanism to find out that central uh, points. So when we are trying to find that central point, that is, and we use different measures. So that is basically called as measure of central tendency. Now the question is how to find it. So we usually uh, most commonly use three uh, uh, measures, and the one is arithmetic mean, or simply known as the mean, then median and mode. So in this video, we will discuss the mean. Okay. So what is mean, or simply known as arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean or the mean is, def is defined to be the sum of the data value divided by the total number of the value. In simplest possible word, we say it's an average. You know, we use the word average. What is the average of petrol uh, mileage or what is the average of average score or something like that, right? So it's simply what we do. We calculate all the values. We sum it and we divide it by its number. Now we have two types of uh, sample mean, sorry, means. Uh, one is called a sample and mean, and the other one is population mean. Sample, as you know, that it is the subset of the population. So how to calculate sample mean? Sample mean means uh, simply uh, we use X bar. You see X and there's a bar on it. What we do, we sum all the values, one, two, three, four, five, all the values, and then we divide it by its number. So we use, uh, the formula for it is submission X divided by N. How it is done? Simply, you see, for example, uh, we have six kitten and an animal shelter, and uh, their ages are three, eight, five, 12, and 14 and 12 days or like uh, weeks or whatever, right? Now, how to find the mean? So what we do, we plus all these values, sum it, three plus eight plus five plus 12 plus 14 plus 12, right? And how many values are there? Six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? So the sum of all these is 20, 54 divided by six is equal to nine weeks. So means the average age of the kittens in that animal shelter is nine weeks. Similarly, we can find the mean for population. There's no change except the symbols, right? And for sample means we used X bar and here we use mu. This Greek sign is known as mu, right? You can pronounce it like mu. So same, sum all the values divided by number. There we use the small n for population, we use capital N. So sigma s or new, uh, submission x divided by n. So same is the case. The salaries of some people, salesperson, one is 50,000, 20,000, 12,000, 9,000, and 9,000. So there are five people at all uh, in total. So what we do, we sum the values and then we divide by the numbers. So sum is 50 plus 20, 70 plus 12, uh, 82, uh, 72, sorry, 82, 82 plus 18, you see, 100,000 divided by five, that gives us 20,000. So this is how we calculate the population mean. Now, what if we have frequency and the, mean, uh, and the X values as well? So how to calculate it? This is known as ungrouped frequency distribution. So far, we just had x values and we divided by the number. Now, we what if we have the distribution, right? So for distribution, we have the formula x bar is equal to summation x, whole bracket, frequency multiplied. This point means multiplied by 
the x values and divided by the number. Sometimes we use n and sometimes we use here summation f. Both have the same meaning, right? So you see n is equal to summation f. So how is it done? Look at it, right? For example, uh, we have 25 uh, score of 25 students on four points, right? So how many students did zero score? Two students did zero score. Four students got one. 12 students got score two and uh, four students got three score and only three students got top score that is four. Now, what is the mean score? How can we know? Simple, right? What we do, we need fx, right? This is this was a formula that we discussed little earlier, summation fx. So what we do, we divide, or oh, sorry, multiply f with x. So two multiplied by zero, that is zero. Four multiplied by one, one four. Four into one, four. 12 multiplied by two is 24. Four multiplied by three is 12. And three multiplied by four is 12. So what we do, we sum all these values like four plus 24 plus 12 plus 12. That gives us 52. And we divide it by summation f or n. You remember, n is equal to summation f. So what is n here? 3 plus 4 plus 12 plus 4 plus 2. That is 25. So 52 divided by 25 is 2.08. Mean the mean score, the average score of this class is 2.08. Clear? Now, what if we have grouped a frequency distribution. Now, so far we had only ungrouped frequency distribution. What we have the groups like classes, if we have different classes. So how to calculate it? Same formula, just a small difference. X bar represent the mean, then here sigma into F into F multiplied by X M. M means mid value of that group, right? Divided by N. N means summation, it means total frequency, right? How it is done? Look at here. For example, we have the classes 15.5 to 20.5. We have three people in it. 20.5 uh, 20, to 25.5, we have five. So this is the data that we have. And now we are supposed to calculate the mean of this data, right? So look at here. What we use, we need to get XM. So how to calculate this XM? Very easy, right? We have this class 15.5 to 20.5. So what is the mid value of this middle value? So how to calculate it? 20 plus 20.5 plus 15.5 divided by two. So 20.5 plus 15.5 that makes 36. So 36 divided by two will give you 18, right? Similarly, 25.5 plus 20.5, you can do it in, in with calculator or in Excel sheet, it's very easy. So 20.25.5 plus 20.5 divided, that makes whatever that makes, makes make I think uh, 50, uh, 46 divided by two. So you will get 23, right? So in this way, you calculate all the mid values. Now what is the next step? Multiply this mid value XM with F means frequency. So 33 multiplied by 18, 54, 23 multiplied by uh, 5, 115. And similarly, you calculate all the values. Now, what we need in the formula here, we need summation fx. So what is summation fx? 54 plus 115 plus 112 plus 99 plus 76. So when we plus we 54 plus 115 plus 112, 99 plus 76, that gives us 456. Now, what is n here? 17. How we got this 17? Look at it. 3 plus 5, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 3, 15. And 15 plus 2, 17. So this is how we get f. Summation f, or it is also known as n. Both are the same, right? So summation f, uh, f into x, m. That is this value, 4, 5, 6. And n is 17. So when you divide these, 456 by 17, you get 26.82. This is how we can get the mean of grouped frequency distribution. So if you have that kind of data, you see, and you are asked to find out the mean, so simply use this formula and you can get the results. I hope the concept is clear now. So in next video, we will explain 
the second measure of measure of central tendency that is the median take care see you next time